Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I thought we could just sit down, do some makeup and I'm going to show you all of my favorite products that I have been reaching for lately. I also have a few lifestyle things I want to talk about, so let's just get into it, you know? I have already gone in with this anti-redness primer. It's the Australis Color Click. That's why I'm looking like pretty ghostly. Not that that's like uncommon for me. <laughs> but my first favorite and something that I just have it nonstop been reaching for when I'm putting on foundation is the Rimmel Kind and Free Skin Tint. I feel like skin tints have kind of become the new like BB cream. And with BB creams, I could never find one that I liked because there wasn't very many shades. So I'm very much enjoying that brands are bringing out skin tints because the shade ranges are better. But with saying that, this is the fairest shade in the range called Ten Rose Ivory. And it is a bit too dark for me. So let me just give it a swatch. This is what it looks like on its own. So like, it's not that off, but it's a bit off. I'm going to take some of my trusty Astralis Lightning Drops and mix those into the foundation. I look back at some of my old videos and holy... <laughs> Shit, did I used to lighten my foundation to like the next level. Some of those really make me cringe, hey? I'm like, god damn, what was I doing? <sighs> oh, but anyway. So what I love most about this is the formula is just beautiful. It blends so nicely. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. It doesn't look patchy when you apply it. Like these are some of the problems I've experienced with other skin tints in the past. It does have quite good coverage for a skin tint. Like I would say it's on the medium side. It also builds up nicely if you want just a little extra coverage and I love the overall finish. Your skin looks super natural, but look at that glow. It's just beautiful. Longevity wise, I don't get extreme wear out of it. It's really only around four to five hours but it's a skin tint. I don't think it's meant to be lasting like 10 plus hours. So that's fine. Here's a close up of it. You can still see some of these blemishes peeping through, but it's just a nice medium coverage. And I love that glow. It's not too dewy, but it's like radiant. Next, I have a concealer by Inoxa and I put this one in my pile of products to use up. And so I've been going in with it every day for work when I'm really not putting on a full face of makeup, but I want a little bit of concealer under my eyes because this formula has a bit of a peachy undertone to it. So it neutralizes any darkness really well. Now on the Priceline website, it does only come in three shades. Let's have a look on the Inoxa website. Hopefully we're doing better over there. No, it also looks like there's only three shades over there and they're all in the light category, so. That's not very inclusive. If you're not really into a full coverage concealer, I think you'll like this because it has more of a medium, but it's a nice rich formula. And what I like about it is that it's not watery. A lot of medium coverage concealers I find can be watery and you just don't get any coverage. And for me, they are the ones that really settle into my fine lines. So because this is a bit more, I don't wanna say thick because it's not heavy, but like it, it's rich. It doesn't settle into those fine lines as much. The next product I've been loving is the NYX Brow Glue. And when I first tried this, I really wasn't sure about it. But now that I've like got the hang of it, this is so good. It's like soap brows in a tube. So you don't have to do the annoying work of spraying the soap. <laughs> it's just right there, ready to go. It has the most tiny little wand. Look at that. So you can get right up in there and it's quite a thick and sticky formula. So I like to go in and just brush it through the brows. You can already see it's starting to like stick these longer hairs down. I like to go backwards through them like this to really get that product through and then go in and kind of stick them in place. You really only need a little bit too. So if I go in with too much, I just get a clean spoolie and kind of scrape some out. And then if I roll over them and stick them down, it's just like soap brows and they stay in place. This is sold out all the time at Priceline. I end up picking mine up off Beauty Bay. So 
If you're having troubles getting it, have a look on there. I'm just going to let them set down and dry a bit before I go in with a pencil. So in the meantime, my favorite cream contouring and bronzer product that I cannot stop dipping into is the Ulta 3 Contour Goals Palette. What really gets me going about this palette is that we have some cool tones. So this first shade I love because it's nice and cool and light for a contour. And then this shade here you can see is a touch warmer so it makes a great bronzer and then this last shade is quite warm. So I'm going to start with the cooler shade. The formula of this is beautiful. It's incredibly creamy and it blends so easily. As you can see I'm just doing little stippling motions and it is spreading that product out. It's blending nicely and it's not picking up any of the makeup underneath and ruining that. So I just go in with a little bit of that shade on each side, right under my cheekbones there for more of a contouring effect. And then with this middle shade, I kind of go a bit ham with that because it is a bit more warm. I can really bronze up the face. Here are some swatches of the shade. So this is the one I use first, the one I use second, and then the third shade that I didn't use. I'm going to set my entire face now using my favorite CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. I haven't put this down in like, what, a year plus? It's just the best. See how that just smooths the area? Oh my God, I love it. And applying it with a sponge, it just hits different, you know? Just be careful how damp your sponge is though because you can get hard pan like this. <laughs> I haven't had Botox in a while and I don't think I'll be getting some again soon. So what I like to do is like lift my forehead so my lines even out and then like really get the powder into those lines there. Ugh, <sighs> oh, 30 year old things. For blush, I've really been enjoying the Enco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint and I've liked this product for a while, but I've been dipping into the shade Dusk and when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, that's way too dark. Like, that's not gonna work for me. When I blend it out, you can see that it's pretty dark, but it is quite sheer. So what I like to do is get the bum of my Beauty Blender, just take a little bit because she's pigmented. And then I can just apply light layers, nice and sheer. I don't know, it's a different blush color than what I'm used to, so I'm kind of liking the change. It gives me a little bit of a sunburnt vibe. And you know I'm not gonna be out there getting like actually sunburnt. So this just looks like I've actually been in the sun, <laughs> getting some vitamin D, when really I've been in my lounge room watching Real Housewives. I love the finish of this formula. It leaves a very nice sheen and you can apply it over the top of powder and it doesn't ruin what's going on underneath. For highlighter, I've been using the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder and this is in the shade Ozone. First of all, I just can't like get over the packaging. It's so cute and that pink see-through and the embossing on the actual product is just beautiful. I first tried this highlighter in my testing out brands I've never tried before video. And I also picked this one up from Beauty Bay and I am so glad I did because look at that finish. Like it's just so naturally glowy. I think we've all been over that real metallic highlighter trend for a long time now. And so to have something that just gives that beautiful glossy finish is exactly what I'm looking for. This shade is great for fair skin too. It's kind of like a neutral gold. Because it gives such a glossy finish as well, it doesn't look powdery on the skin. Like you could almost think I've applied a cream highlighter. For my brows, I've been using the Inoxa 2-in-1 Brow Shape and Define, and there's literally like <laughs> the tiniest bit left. So this is one of those triangle shaped pencils. Oh my God, wow. I would repurchase this again, but I'm not going to because I have so many other brow pencils to use. But I really like the shade of this and the formula is nice and creamy. Like you can blend it out with the spoolie that's on the other end. So like this bit here where there's not much hair. I add a little bit of color in. And then if I go in with the spoolie and just blend it up, it's the exact finish that I need. It's just nice and light. It doesn't look too blocky. 
And then for my third and final brow product, I have the Miss Guided Brow You Doin' Tinted Brow Marker. And this is in the shade Dark. I recently come across this brand at Chemist Warehouse and I tried this out in my latest testing new Aussie drugstore makeup video. I'll link it down below if you wanna go and watch. But oh my God, this brow pen is <laughs> It's got this tiny little felt tip. And what I like about it is that it's not too flexible. So you can be super precise with where you are drawing your strokes and they're nice, tiny, thin strokes as well. For eyeshadow, I have been loving the ColourPop Dare to Bear Eyeshadow Quad. These browns are just perfect. Sometimes I see like neutral brown eyeshadow palettes and they just don't have every tone. You've got something super dark, medium, light, and then like a bone shade. These are all matte shades. If you haven't tried ColourPop eyeshadows before, they are very nice quality for the price. They blend easily, they're pigmented, they're not overly powdery. I think they are very good quality. I pretty much do the same look with this every time though. I go in with this brown here, either put it all over the lid and then maybe a little bit deeper in the outer corner. So I think I might maybe do a halo eye instead today. Spice it up a little but not too much. These browns are all cool tone shades as well, which I am just loving at the moment. I think it's just such a great little size, perfect for traveling if that's what you do. I don't, I don't know, I've always thought like, when people review makeup, they always refer to how good it is for traveling. And I'm like, where's everyone going? Like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Where are we all on the go to? Because I'm just doing my makeup at home. But if you do your makeup on the go, then this is the perfect little palette. I also love the clear packaging. I think it's really nice. Okay, my basic eyeshadow is done. <laughs> For mascara, I actually have two that I have been dipping in and out of, starting with the Essence Double Trouble Mascara and then the Rimmel Kind and Free Mascara. I think I'll do one on each eye so you can see the difference. So with the Essence Double Trouble, this is usually the kind of wand I go for. It's nice and big, nice and chunky, but this one you can see is a little bit different. So the top of it, the bristles are a bit longer and the bottom, it has shorter bristles. So I like to go in with those short bristles first and just apply the product, kind of like get the color onto my lashes. And then if I go with the longer side, I can really brush it through and start to lengthen the lashes. Essence has always done great mascaras. The Lash Princess, obviously everyone knows about it, but I think this is definitely a standout for me anyway. It really lengthens the lashes and it gives them lots of volume as well. I just love it. Beautifully separated, not clumpy at all. And it also comes in a waterproof version. It has a blue lid instead of the pink. And then with the Rimmel, I didn't think I would like this one because the one to me looks a bit like basic and boring. So it's very thin, kind of just like a classic mascara wand. So I wasn't expecting much from it, but holy hell did it surprise me. If you have small eyes or you don't like the bigger fatter wands, then this mascara is the way to go. It lengthens the lashes just, oh my God, to another level and it doesn't clump one single bit. Every lash is separated, so it makes them look really voluminous. I just, I love that look. So this is the Essence side and this is the Rimmel side. I feel like I'm getting quite a similar finish with both mascaras. So if you wanted to try one out, I would just say, like choose what wand style you prefer. And then lastly for lips, I've just been enjoying using different glosses. So today I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Oh My Gloss. And for lip liner, I'll use the Raw Cosmetics Coconut Kiss Lip Pencil in Chicky Pea. All right, well, they are all of my go-to makeup products. As I said, I do have a few lifestyle products that I want to mention as well. So first up, I got an Apple Watch. Now, I've never really been interested in getting one. I was kind of like, what's the point? 
but my sister upgraded hers, so she gave me her old one. And I have been using this app called Habit. So you can personalize your habits and it gives you little reminders throughout the day. And I'm finding it so helpful when it comes to the habits I want to keep track of. So for example, I've got water. Because at work we are still wearing masks, I am definitely not drinking as much water because it's annoying to have to pull down my mask. <laughs> so having a reminder is very helpful. I've got a reminder to take my medications and my supplements. That is something I can get very lazy with and I just forget. So having my reminder set up in the morning, lunch and dinner, so helpful. I've got move my body, read a book, and it also is just counting my steps. So I've got a goal for my steps for the day. So just for that app, I am loving it. I watched a few YouTube videos when I was setting it up and I turned off a lot of notifications because I don't necessarily just want my phone notifications coming straight to my wrist. I wanted to get use out of the watch to kind of help me and be productive and like keep on top of the things that I want to do. So I'm really enjoying it for that. And the app habit has been super helpful. Next, I have been reading a book and this is by Colleen Hoover and it's called Verity. Now I'm pretty sure that Colleen Hoover has been like going off on TikTok. I am not really on the book scene, but one of my girlfriends at work suggested this to me and was like, I think you'd really like it. And I am loving it. Like, I'm nearly done and oh, it's juicy. So this has been a favorite. I've never really been a big book reader, but I am trying to find more ways to kind of like calm down and just relax, not be like go, go, go all the time. And I found that reading is definitely very helpful because I can just completely switch off from everything else. So I've really been enjoying it. It's a good book. Let me know below if you've read it. Well. I, I should be finished by the time I upload this video so we can talk about spoilers if we need to. And then the last thing I have been enjoying is putting on press on nails. So this style I have on at the moment, I love, like look at this chocolate brown and the marble. Oh my God, they are so beautiful. So I have found two brands that I like. These nails are from the brand Glowy. This is what the packaging looks like. I have gotten into all of them but it just opens up like a little compact and you've got all your nails under here. It comes with glue or it comes with sticky tabs. And then the other brand I have been using is acrylic. And these ones are very similar. They come with the glue, the sticky tabs, like the little nail file, everything that you need to apply them. The acrylic ones are in a, is that a coffin shape? Like it's squared off. Whereas a lot of the glowy ones are almond. Both brands tell you how to prep your nails. And if you do it properly, I can get a good two weeks out of one set of nails. And what I like is that they don't grow with your nail. They are really sturdy. Like I hit them all the time and you think, oh my God, is my nail going to pop off? But it's still there going strong. <laughs> Both brands I found are quite easy to manipulate as well. So if you want to cut them down and file them, you can. Now that I'm not working in hospitality, I just love having pretty nails because my natural nails are just shocking. Like they don't grow and when they do, they just snap. I don't know. These are just so pretty and I love them. I love this style. All right, well, that is all for today's video. I will list and link as much as I can down in the description box below. If you have tried any of the products I talked about, I would love to hear your thoughts on them down below in the comments. And also let me know what things you have been loving lately. It can be makeup, beauty, lifestyle, whatever. I don't care. Tell me all the good stuff. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you aren't already. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.